So the 15th annual WWE Tribute to the Troops, it'll be Thursday, December 14th, 8 p.m., 7 p.m. Central, USA Network. Dolph, where are you at in your career right now in sports entertainment and pro wrestling, and what are you looking forward to in the future? Uh, that's a good question. I, I, I'm at a little bit of crossroads right now because uh, I'm really thinking about uh, what the next move is. I really love what I'm doing. I've been very fortunate um, injury-wise. I only missed a couple of weeks. Uh, of work in 12 and a half years. So I've been very lucky. I feel great. I feel like a million bucks uh, because of WWE. It's opened a lot of doors for me. I got, you know, it's starting a movie that's on Netflix. Uh, I get to go on Fox Business and, you know, make jokes about politics. I've done stand up. Uh, I'm looking into a couple different things right now, and uh, it'll be a decision time very shortly. Um, and hopefully I can continue to do all of these things and just keep expanding. And uh, I, I'm lucky I can do this for 10 more years. I feel like a million bucks. And you're very good at what you do, Dolph. And I'm going to say the Tribute to the Troops. I am. <laughs> Tribute to the Troops is coming up this week. I got to ask you about this because I, I know you've had so many matches. But I remember last year during the holidays, you guys were, were able to come down to Miami and do a Florida swing. And again, you guys are doing it this year. You're going to be hitting Tampa, Orlando, and Miami. The new year is going to be in Miami, New Year's Day, for Raw. And then SmackDown the next night, SmackDown Live in Orlando. You had a great series of matches with The Miz, even a steel cage match in Miami last holiday season. What's it been like working with him? And hey, that's another Cleveland guy. Another Cleveland guy. He's actually from Parma. No big deal. But he's a Cleveland guy. I'll allow it. Um, he's, uh, him, him and I have been, you know, we were constantly competing for different places. We love going head to head and toe to toe in different things. And, uh, you know, Five years ago, Miz and I had matches for the Intercontinental title that no one gave a damn about. And the last year and a half, him and I had matches uh, for the Intercontinental title or my career or steel cage matches or ladder matches, all those different things. And it, it, it's a huge uh, feather in his cap to go that Miz is one of my absolute favorite bad guys on the show because he loves to be hated. And that is very few and far between these days in our business and he loves to be hated and he does everything he can to be good at that and I love beating the hell out of him doing everything we can to make it seem like he's as good as I am in the ring. Uh, we, we have a great time beating each other up and that holiday tour we had a cage match and it was some of the most fun I've had in 10 years and we beat each other up. I was bloody a couple of the nights from running into the cage we had such a great time. That is, without a doubt, one of my favorite um, with that favorite holiday tours in a really, really long time. Uh, but when it's someone that's your friend, you get to beat him up a little bit harder, and it's going to be okay. And you know what's interesting with Miz? He's doing so much away from the ring as well. Is that? And I know you do too. I mean, you mentioned you mentioned acting some, and you also I, I know I mentioned the comedy. How do you make time to do everything? And when projects come up, is it hard to say no? It's a bummer because, you know, with this schedule, you constantly have to say no. I have a very cool agent who, who he works just based on when I get work. He'll be like, in two weeks, can I use it? And I go, nope. He goes, can you be in L.A. tomorrow? And I go, nope. But uh, nine times out of ten, I'm very busy with this schedule. That's why I've been thinking about maybe, maybe next year, maybe toning it down, taking a couple less matches and do a little bit more time out in L.A. because um, I don't want days off. I don't want to sit at home. I want to possibly be working, but there's a couple opportunities I have because of WWE and because of social media, and I want to put them to use just to make myself a bigger star so it's a bigger deal when I'm in, my, in the WWE ring making something special in a match. All right, we're wrapping this up. WWE Tribute to the Troops, Thursday, December 14th, USA Network, Outdoors, spectacular you have the the big ship behind you guys for the actual wrestling night that's going to be on machine gun kelly's going to perform just really great stuff i'm going to go you mentioned social media i want to wrap it up with a little bit of the twitter i know i mentioned it earlier you have a lot of fun on twitter and i can appreciate that i noticed bikini bottom you mentioned is this is this a spongebob squarepants reference for you or what 100 percent uh spongebob squarepants lived in bikini bottom and i always thought that would be such a great place to live so that's that's what i've named my estate where i am so that makes my day and i also noticed you in a picture of the great 
WWE Hall of Famer Bob Euchre. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and uh, I, I, I have a picture somewhere of the two of us. Uh, we met somewhere, I want to say, two years ago at a WWE show, but I, I did just put one up. There's a painting uh, out in Scottsdale, and I thought, I go, he's great. What a, what a great tie to Cleveland and sports entertainment. He's a WWE Hall of Famer. What a great, funny guy that everybody loves. And uh, I was just so happy to see that painting. It just, it, it just it felt right. You had to like the movie Major League. Oh, you got to be kidding me. We all quote it all day long when I go back home. When I'm back there for Christmas and I'm seeing my friends out around West Park, we'll be quoting the movie and talking about it and having a good time and, and talking about how the Browns can pull one off here. And is Briley Pierce, how's that guy doing? And is he getting back into wrestling at all? Uh, every, yeah, you know what? He does wrestling every once in a while. He does stuff out in California. He's flown uh, out to you know, Tommy Dreamer's house of hardcore shows. Uh, he is constantly, he's, he's, He's the trainer to the stars out in, in, in L.A., and he's constantly doing improv shows. And in a month or two, I'll be out there with him doing another improv show. But he, he's up on a stage or writing something or uh, producing something or filming something every, every day of the week. So he's almost busier than I am. All right. Tribute to the Troops, Thursday, December 14th, USA Network. You guys will be in, in South Florida. Raw will be in Miami. But then SmackDown is going to be in Tampa and in Orlando. So good times for you, good times for the fans. It's nice to have holidays in the nice weather, I guess, as well, Dolph. It's going to be great. That, 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 that uh, holiday tour is one of our most favorite things to do. It's really, really fun. And that tribute to the Troop Show is the 15th anniversary. It is our most patriotic show of the year. We love doing it. Come check it out and then see us on that holiday tour. It's going to be a blast. Dolph Ziggler, you're the best. I know, right? <laughs> Thank you, sir.